In this video we're going to take a look at removing some damaged screws. I've actually driven all eight of these into this metal plate. It has been tapped and countersunk. I've then rounded off each of the heads by using the incorrect driver for it. These were actually Phillips head which require a bit like that which is a Phillips bit a PH2 and to round them off I used a PZ2 and I actually did that by turning them in the right direction which will tighten them so all of these screws are very tight and all of the heads have been damaged so much that you can't remove them with the correct bit. I'll just demonstrate that for you. You can see that there is no chance at all of that undoing any of them because it can't grip any of the heads. This is a very common problem when you come to remove a Euro cylinder from a UPVC door. You'll often find that people have chewed up the screws which can make it very difficult to remove them. Sometimes it's very easy and sometimes it is very difficult. It depends, there are quite a lot of variables. It may surprise you, but one of the techniques that I tend to try first is an elastic band. I actually saw this on somebody else's YouTube channel and I watched it and I didn't actually think it would work. And then I went to a friend's house who had a rounded off screw like that in a Euro cylinder. I used the elastic band and it took the screw straight out. So that's the first thing we're going to try because that is always the easiest thing to try. So all you need to do is put the elastic band over the screw. It is better if you have a bit of a wider elastic band than what we've got here, but it should still work. So I'm going to press that down. I've got the drill in reverse. I'm now going to apply pressure and squeeze the trigger. And you can see that the elastic band just enabled us to grip that screw, which has enabled us to get it out. And if you look in there, you will actually see there is a bit of the elastic band in there. So that is always the first thing that I try because sometimes it does work. It doesn't always work, but sometimes it works and it can save you a lot of hassle trying to remove the screws. The next thing you can try is an impact driver. You need to ensure that you get a good quality bit in there and also you need to ensure that it is in the correct direction because you don't want to tighten it up. To use one of these, simply put it into the damaged screw and then hit it on the top with a good quality hammer. And I do think that that has loosened that. So there is a chance now that we will be able to get it using the drill. And as you can see, that loosened that enough so that we could get that out. So an impact driver is a very useful tool because the actual shock of you hitting it and trying to move it in the correct direction often helps to remove a damaged screw. And if you look at that, you can see that it is very badly damaged. You can buy damaged screw removers like that and they often work on screws like this. And they are often worth a shot. You can usually pick these up for about 10, 15 pounds. So I've just fixed that in the chuck. I'm gonna ensure the drill is in reverse. And then to use one of these, you need to press down hard and slowly press on the trigger and eventually that will bite and hopefully undo the screw. You can see that that bit in there very quickly enabling it to be removed very easily. We've then got the grab it. The grab it by trend is a very good quality remover. This actually works very well and I've actually used this on some wood screws and it's even worked on those as well. So this does work extremely well. I've actually got two of those in this kit and they do a superb job of removing damaged screws. To use this, you use that end first in reverse or an anti-clockwise direction and that will remove some of the material from the screw. You then turn it over and that bit will actually bite into the screw and remove it in reverse. Sometimes when you're using this, that part actually grips so well when it's cutting that it actually removes the screw and brings it out. 
So we'll now try this. I've got the drill in reverse. I'm pressing down hard on it. And as you can see, that brought the screw straight out. And there's no chance at all of that screwdriver bit gripping any of these. They are completely rounded off on the inside. You can use a centre punch and a hammer, or you can use a centre punch like this, which is spring loaded. These are very useful for jobs like this, and you can use these in confined spaces. So to use this, you need to get it on the edge of the screw, pull back on it, and then the momentum from the spring will force the hammer forwards and undo the screw. And you can see that once we've got that loose, we can then grab that with our fingers and remove it. As you can see, there's no chance at all of removing that using the screwdriver. But by using something like that, you can actually loosen it enough so that you can grab it with your fingers or with a pair of mole grips. If you can get hold of them, you can use left-handed drill bits. These are designed to be used in reverse. So all we need to do is choose one that's a little bit smaller than the actual head on the screw. We'll then put that in the drill. And then we'll ensure that the drill is in reverse. We'll apply a firm pressure to that. This will start to drill the screw, but once it bites, there is a, a very good chance that it will actually remove the screw. like so. So that's another thing that you can use to remove a damaged screw. Another thing you can try is cutting a slot in it using an angle grinder or a Dremel, but you do have to be careful of damaging the surrounding material. Another thing you can use is a cold chisel and a hammer. And you can often just knock that around enough so that it's loose. And then again, we can grab that with our fingers. So hopefully this video will have shown you some techniques that you can use to remove screws with a damaged head. I'd just like to point out that if you're trying to remove a wood screw, which is four inches long like that, and the head has been damaged, you have got virtually no chance at all of doing that. In most cases, if you do try and remove it, you're just gonna snap the head off the screw. But when you're doing jobs like removing Euro cylinders from new PVC doors, etc., or if somebody's made a mess of a screw using the incorrect screwdriver, these are some of the techniques that you can use. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have and you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel.